But what I do want to do is just let you know what my thoughts prior to going into it, and then I'm going to show you some of the process of a dry fast, minding you that a dry fast is no water, no food, nothing. Um, I eventually did make it to 59 hours, 58 hours, give or take. But I just want to go ahead and give you some of that process. So stay tuned. Check it in. Hey, what's going on? So I'm currently, uh, I'm almost 36 hours in, about 35 and a half. The dry fast is a lot simpler than what you would think it is. The initial is the tough part. I think it's easy when you start going by from, obviously, when you first get your first rest, your first sleep. So... Your second sleep covers a lot too, right? If you're sleeping about eight hours. Uh, yesterday I took a nap for about, I tried to set it for 20 minutes and then I just was like, man, which is unusual for me because of the energy of the food. But um, it was about an hour yesterday. So today when I woke up, I was at 30 hour point at 6 a.m. Now it's about noon. And just to give you an example, you know, I did spend some more energy out in the sun because I had a meet up with my market. I am helping Cornell with some of the marketing for the sales copy. Uh, with The number one problem that you have right now is it takes you too long to work out in the gym. So because you want this free report, I'm going to go ahead and show you a workout, bodyweight movements in 20 minutes or less to get yourself from a place of just wanting more to having more. It's going to be that simple. And because you're taking action today, I want to go ahead and give you a bonus. And that's going to be the light theory, something, a system that I created in order to get yourself to start to rewire your subconscious mind and have your life work for you instead of you working for life. It's very simple. Go ahead, drop your email in there right now, and I'm going to send that to you right away. And we spend time in the sun, so when you leave the AC, your energy drains a little bit faster. And I was getting ready to break the fast, but... I was going to do it when I do break the fast I'm going to do it with some warm water and some apple cider vinegar one not only is it a probiotic but two it helps the alkaline balance and so um, you want to rebalance that properly the snake diet is a, is a big guy I could put the link in the bio he's really good and interesting at it. I think he does with like baking soda and something else but after I personally do the warm water and like a tablespoon or two of um, apple cider vinegar. I'm going to drink a coconut. Thankfully in Bali, like coconut sort of thing. So I'm going to drink a coconut and I'm going to put in the coconut um, a little bit of pink salt and let that dilute in water prior and then drink it with the coconut. Get your electrolytes back in play. Help the alkaline balance as well. I'm going to look into if a lime is good in that coconut because I like to eat my lime, drink my limes with coconuts in it. Oh, you see, there's some of the things like my, my speech is kind of, but don't let this fool you because I've had more clarity now. I even went last night to a men's group for the first time. And that was pretty dope, uh, especially with the, the clear mind. I may have been about 15 hours in when I went to the men's group. And I made it, you know, but the big thing about this is like having long, drawn out conversations couldn't recommend it um, but to get a little bit of sunlight in you I think it's good um, and I don't recommend driving I drove a motorbike and just really slow you get a little bit more out of it so I don't recommend driving um, learn that lesson from me but I'll check back in I'm gonna continue to fast I was gonna break it at the 35 hour mark but I was like you know what like now it's just a psychological thing and I realized went from this experiment of my first drive fast that um, I am psychologically resilient. And when you get the sugars out of your system, I've already kind of started eating a lot less from the Western diet just being in Asia. Um, it's cheaper to eat vegan, cheaper to eat vegetarian, cheaper to eat healthy. So I've already kind of started getting some of those fake artificial sugars out of my body. And it made the transition a lot easier, I'll tell you that. Um, so I haven't showered yet as a part of that. I did brush my teeth today. I didn't really use water and I just kind of spit out. So I did that because I actually had to record a video with my marketing guy um, for one of these next products that I'm releasing. So other than that, you know, I've been good. Like I've even been able to do some work on my laptop, but I'll check in soon. All right, thanks for um, engaging with this fast. 
Okay, so it's officially 56 hours. Uh, at the 39 hour mark, I broke it with warm water and apple cider vinegar. I had a coconut following that with a little bit of lime. I wish I had some pink Himalayan salt. It really helps to start to um, basically prepare your stomach to re-enter food as well as the electrolytes. It starts to help that alkaline balance. You notice there, this is my first juice. It's gonna be a ginger dragon fruit cucumber juice. Now, what's important about this is you want to not have the fibers come out, so it's not a smoothie, it's a juice. I had to go through a food processor first, then they put it in a blender. Um, just one, two, three natural ingredients. This gives me the opportunity to re-enter food in my body without the extra fibers. And mostly, I pick cucumber, right? Because 90% of it is water. Um, dragon fruit, not as high as sugar as some of the other things like mango or apples. And you want to introduce those things slowly before you get a salad back into your diet. So don't just eat salad food. You're thinking of all these burgers and yada, yada, yada. That's not where you want to start. Meat's not the way, especially in the beginning. And I say this as somebody that still loves fish. So, um, you know, this is what, 50, what did I say? 55 hours, 55 hours and a half, almost 56. And it's the first meal. Later, we're gonna have some vegan organic food at a place called Secret Spot. So stay tuned. I'm gonna keep you on the journey for my first dry bag. It's fresh. I taste the ginger strong. I gotta mix it because I sat a little bit. Get that stuff in the bottom, but that's fresh. Wow, it feels good to get something in your belly again. Light it maybe. So other than the two fruit juices I had, notice juiced, not smoothie, big difference. Uh, Cause you wanna not have the fibers coming in, you just want the essentials from the juice. Really is easier for your stomach to settle. This is the first solid meal. Uh, how many hours are we? I gotta calculate, hold on. So we're about 59 hours. 59 hours from the first solid meal again. It's tofu, it's tomato. Um, some leafy green vegetable from Asia, I have no idea. Garlic, onion. And that's me, um, nearly 60 hours on my first dry fast. I hope you found some value from this. If you have any questions, drop it in the comments below. Reach out to me, I'm here to help, man. Nom nom. So the benefits of this dry fast, now that it's done, <clears throat> um, I really felt like the toxins left my body. I really did. And aphagy is how you pronounce the word, I believe. The, the difference between aphagy, autoph autophagy. Autophagy is that when you dry fast, <clears throat> you actually suck out all the negative uh, nutrients, all the acidic imbalances in your body because your body attacks that bad stuff first everything that it doesn't need it attacks and it follows up past a certain point where it starts to attack the negative i mean the positive now you could drive fast three days you're not attacking the oh, i'm flying sorry i'm freaking <laughs> so yeah okay so three days or so you're not going to be attacking any of the positive nutrients but i didn't even make it three days i was 12 hours away 12 hours away from three four days wow i didn't even know that uh, and so you know just notice the difference between autophagy and starvation you know there's a point where you really should eat you know what i mean and when you break it just don't break it by loading yourself really really heavy with water um, not right away because then you're you're blow and then you can take in too much water you shock your system in a negative way so you did this hopefully for a positive reason not for anything as for like you're trying to starve yourself or you know you're doing this from a social physique anxiety standpoint like anxiety from your actual body <clears throat> but you did this because you were looking for the health benefits which is what i was doing what i will say is is um you really want to make sure you watch the salt when you first start eating again especially I wouldn't recommend eating out because they're going to be putting seasonings in stock. You want to eat bland in the beginning. You want to eat light. And if I could change anything right now, I would have ate light longer. Because what happens eventually, like you just start, 
right? Like I, I kind of worked my way into it, but eventually after you saw that tofu meal, I started getting a little bit more crazy. I started just eating. I think I had like two bars of chocolate and I don't even eat chocolate on the regular. I had two of those Switzerland chocolates. Um, I don't remember. It comes in a, a little stick. <laughs> the little bar. I don't know, but yeah, so my abs are on an all-time new high and then my belly just popped out like three days later so that's something just to be mindful of if i could do it again and i will i would draw out the food a little bit longer because i was eating from a psychological hunger more than i was hungry so listen this is for bobby checking in any questions just ask i appreciate you